So as most of you know, if you've watched any of my videos, um, one of my favorite things about Squarespace is the fact that they can push and pull content directly from to and from your social media. Um, so for instance, on my page, you will see that um, I have my Let's see, down here at the bottom, I have my most recent Instagram post. So this is automatically pulling directly from my Instagram. I do not have to update my website. Every time I post to Instagram, it's automatically pulling here. At the same time, all of my blog posts, every time I post a blog, it is going to immediately push out to my LinkedIn and my Twitter and my Facebook. So it allows me to, to push and pull content that way and I absolutely love it. It saves me so much time. However, maybe I also want to kind of have a summary here of Instagram, or I'm sorry, we have my Instagram summary. Maybe I want to have a summary of my Twitter posts. So we can't automatically pull that Twitter data, but we can do something kind of um, a little bit sneaky with a website, which I've done here on the Find Your Genius page. So essentially what I'm doing is I am embedding the tweets onto this page, but it kind of looks like I have basically been pulling like a summary of data from Twitter, but in actuality, I am forcing that in here by, by embedding a tweet. So here is how you're going to do that. Um, you are going to go to your Twitter page, find a tweet that you want to embed on your um, page. You're basically just going to pull down this little drop down arrow, say embed tweet. It's going to let you copy the code. And now I can come right in here to this section. I'll say edit. And I'm actually going to replace this embedded code here. So I'm just going to go into edit. I will delete the code that I have for this other tweet and paste in the new. And once I hit save and refresh, we should see that post pop up in here in my little fake summary that I have created. So if I wanted to start this from scratch, instead of just copying and pasting the code in, all you're going to need to do, let me come down here, so there's that post that I just did. Let's say I wanted to add some new posts or I wanted to start this from scratch on my page. I am simply going to come into the area that I want to put that those posts. I am going to add some new blocks. The blocks are going to be code blocks. So I'm just going to insert one code block and then I can find another tweet here that I want to embed. So let's try, well, we've already got one that looks like that. So let's try to find another one. So I will just embed this tweet, copy this code, come in here, paste the code. And now you see that it's going to be super large because that's what happens with Squarespace. I always kind of liken it to, um, to Tetris. It wants to fill out the entire um, block area so we need to add a couple of other blocks they could be spacer blocks or we could just continue to add code in here if we'd like so maybe I'll just add another code block and I'll just leave it blank for right now but squeeze it in next to this other one that I have and then maybe I want to add one more code block so that it's matching what I have done above now the other way to do this so let me put this one in here next to it oops so the other way to do this is, I'm going to cancel out of here, and if I already have three blocks set up, which I do, I can simply add blocks directly underneath them. So each of these is taking up their own little space. I've got one block here, one block here, and one block here. Underneath this block, if I hover over, I will see a little teardrop shape icon that allows me to add a block directly to this area. So you can kind of barely see it on this example, but the line turns dark gray and you'll see that that line only fits underneath this block. It's not going clear across the page. What that means is if I insert a block here now, it's going all the way across the page, but if I do it here, it's only going to put a block directly underneath. So I could say code right here, erase the sample code and add my own code and say apply. And now you see that it's not taking up the whole page, it's just going directly underneath this block. So if I save, we'll refresh, and then we should see that we now have four Twitter posts embedded on this website. Let's scroll down. And there we go. 
So that is how you can basically kind of make it appear that you have a Twitter summary on your page, but you're basically just forcing that embedded code onto your page and embedding those tweets.